Hello students, this is Shomus Balaji and today we want to talk about a very interesting topic for school students and that is the butterfly life cycle. Ever since I was a child, you know, when I saw a caterpillar and then somebody told me that caterpillar turned into butterfly, I instantly uh, fell in love with biology and I need to understand how exactly caterpillar can turn into a beautiful butterfly. So, that's what we are going to talk today with the help of a very interesting software that I found is uh, the My View Board. My View Board is uh, a software from the company ViewSonic and this uh, they have the application for Android phone, they have the application for Windows as well as for the iPhone. So I am using the Windows applica application which is known as the Whiteboard. I click the Whiteboard application, it will open up uh, and I need to sign in uh, my credentials, sign in with my credential yes. So, Let me put my details in here. Okay. And let me sign in. So once you sign in, okay, now you can easily use this as a digital whiteboard. This is all in one digital whiteboard that you can use uh, as a high school teacher, as a college teacher or lecturer because it has tons of features and all these feature windows here in the right handed side you can clearly see. I can go back to my screen, I can see how many students uh, are joining right now. I am recording the video so I am not having any students joining. This is to capture the screen and particularly one feature that I like the most because obviously it has uh, many different color addition, brush, pencil, uh, any of these input devices if you are using a touch screen, a monitor or anything else. I am using a pen tablet in this case. So I have array of different array of color, I can choose the different colors, I can also add color from my choice. So these things are very common but the most important fact that I found out about this is this drag and drop feature. So the access to what is known as a magic box and with the help of this magic box I can go to my desktop to search for a particular powerpoint file that I am going to show with you today regarding explanation of life cycle of butterfly otherwise I can also get something from my cloud or YouTube or I can get some picture or any of these things. So let us find out uh, our uh, powerpoint that is butterfly life cycle I will simply drag and drop it into this uh, slide into this whiteboard and it says yes you, are, you want to import click yes and it will import uh, my powerpoint here under the whiteboard section. So now I can explain the process of butterfly life cycle in clear details. So the big question how exactly butterfly uh, is formed from a simple uh, caterpillar which is in scientific term known as larva form. So let's talk about that. The first things first I want to talk about is that it's, it's a series of events okay. It's a series of events that eventually converts let me take a color. It eventually converts this to this and it's so much modification because if you look at them uh, in the larval stage they have legs and their body are segmented like that while in the adult form they have wings, beautiful coloration, they have the antenna which are big enough and their body is segmented into head, thorax and abdomen section. So this change is really, really necessary and the sequential changes that occurs uh, during this process is known as metamorphosis. So we are not going to talk about metamorphosis in details. What we want to talk about here is for a simple school level idea of butterfly life cycle. And let's move to the next slide. I'll click this arrow. It will take me to the next slide. The butterfly life cycle is starting from an egg. Then it moves to caterpillar. Uh, then caterpillar turn into pupa. And finally pupa uh, means when the caterpillar uh, completely cover itself with uh, some sort of protein and then finally protein and carbohydrate structures are there always to form pupa and finally the pupa th this pupa structure which is known as cocoon is cleaved degraded and the butterfly beautiful butterfly emerges and this butterfly can again lay egg. So this is how the life cycle the life cycle of butterfly concludes ok. So let's talk about uh, it in the details. Let's move to the first slide. The first stage is the egg stage. Let me change the color for your instance. For example, let's go to the blue color, the egg. The egg stage is that the butterfly lays egg on a plant leaf or any other solid surface, generally the plant leaf and if they put eggs in the plant leaves, they generally put uh, the uh, eggs in the higher regions of the plants, Okay, not the bottom part. And then uh, from these eggs, hatched into caterpillar and caterpillar grow inside of the egg and this caterpillar is very small because this is the very first stage 
and then we will talk about the second stage and the second stage is the caterpillar stage uh, let me change in a different color let me take a light color to explain this let, let's take the yellow color here so it uh, this this caterpillar stage is very famous one we know we can always see there are different types of caterpillar green one black one and different coloration is that there the caterpillar start to eat eat as much as it can it mostly it leaves because they are present near the leaves so it start eating the leaves in that place that's why the egg is laid in near near uh, leaves so that the caterpillar start eating the leaves and they are growing almost like visibly growth in every single day you can you can watch for them and not only it eats and grow and it also sheds off its skin just like the snake okay so it's also shading off its skin and we call them in different instar larva so let me write it here instar instar larva okay so instar larva means we have first instar larva to sometimes fourth instar larva sometimes till fifth instar larva okay and after this fifth instar larva stage uh, what they do is that they they start to you know because why they eat that much because they want to store food for their next stage and what is the next stage is forming pupa and what is pupa itself uh, it spin itself a pad of silk and cover itself totally after they reach the fourth or fifth instar or last last instar larva stage okay and then that is known as a pupa stage because this is where uh, this larva is anchoring itself okay so larva is anchoring itself strongly uh, in in the leaves somewhere okay so this is this is the this is the pupa we can say and this covering is known as cocoon inside of which the larva is there now all the secret modifications will be done inside of which it has array of cellular signaling processes which we discuss in the other classes but not in this class so after this stage it comes down to the stage number 3 the pupa stage let me take another color red one the pupa stage the caterpillar forms a protective shell and now is called as a pupa the shell is known as a cocoon and finally when all the changes of the body to the butterfly is done then it will come out of the cocoon its shell splits open and then the the butterfly beautiful butterfly will come in so the last stage is this butterfly which will come in at the end the butterfly emerges it expands its body and the air pumps blood into its damp creased wings the wings are not totally open that time but because it's damp and the wings are dry after some time after uh, some time later and it is ready to uh, look for food and now it can use the uh, their Uh, wings to fly away and they have a good relationship with flowers and we call that relationship as a symbiosis relationship because most of the time in the adulthood of the butterfly they are going to take nectar from the flowers and in turn they are going to help the pollination in the plants that's why we call them as a symbiotic relationship a mutual understanding between the plants as well as the butterfly and that's why the plants have so beautiful coloration in the, in the flower to attract this butterfly and moth towards them for the pollination purpose so these are the stages of the butterfly life cycle now if i want to show you a real picture of all these stages how can i uh, show you i can add a new play, page this is page number 1 you can clearly see so i can add a new page by clicking here add a new page and a new page will open up and here i am going to show you some picture from internet so again i'll click uh, the magic box and from here i am going to uh, go for or i don't need that i can go directly into the internet with this uh, open the embedded browser the embedded browser feature is another very cool feature of uh, this Uh, my view board application so you can click here and it will open up a window okay open up a window and here you can also search for google or any other images so let me search for uh google images i can search google image and i can go inside there and i want to find out all the different uh things okay i want to find out the different stages and let's say what is a stage let's write it down as a as a, a caterpillar okay so I, if i write caterpillar i'll find different uh, pictures of caterpillar for example this one uh, or i already showed you that one so let me take a different one let's say this this one so what we need to do simply drag and drop and it will come down to the white board and you can you can place it anywhere you can like now you can also write it as a uh, pupa and it will give us the image of pupa and i can drag and drop somewhere here i can write it as butterfly and it will show me a picture of butterfly and i can drag and drop the butterfly picture in here and finally i will try butterfly egg and i have this beautiful picture of butterfly egg in here so once done i can minimize it here 
so now we have all these pictures and we can freely drag and drop them in, in any place so let me let me put them in cycle phase this is the egg phase and you can see there are the stock images so i can i can click here and i can have edit option so i can crop it as much as i want okay and after cropping is done click the tick button so it's done i can i can make it big and small and all these things we can do so the egg is the first thing then comes the caterpillar so let's put it uh, the same size as the egg here like this and uh, so the third stage here will be the pupa so let's let's make this little bigger here this one and the fourth one is the butterfly so so now uh, we can individually drag and uh, place them any place we want and now if we use this hand tool i can drag them totally as a whole unit okay this is another very cool feature so let's uh, let's take this uh, this this single idea uh, let's let's unselect it and uh, let's select the single pointer so single pointer and what we can put we can put the different angles so let me put this uh, picture so the egg starting from the egg uh, so butterfly lays egg egg turned into larva larva turned into pupa pupa turned into adult butterfly okay so these are these four different stages and this is called the life cycle and if you are not satisfied with any of this drawing you can use the eraser tool to simply erase that particular part and you can simply draw that again to get a proper image so this is what you can do with the help of this software i can take a snapshot by uh, clicking this camera icon here it will take a snapshot okay just click here see the whole snapshot is taken it's already there i can use this snapshot somewhere here okay let's take as a picture i can use it i can i can crop it down and i can use even a snapshot from the board itself which i just made okay i can use it as a small picture in that side like that okay so these things we can do a lot of things we can do with the help of my view board and i believe you understood the process of life cycle in butterfly right so if you like this video and also uh, i can put the text here so i can write the text like butterfly life cycle okay and i can change uh, the the size let's make it little big okay uh, select them and let's make it little big size here bold and i can also change uh, different fonts from here just typical fonts are there change a different font and here it is right i can select it and i can move it to any place i want and if i take the hand tool it will move all together so this is the beauty about this particular my view board application software so i believe uh, if you if you are a teacher and if you want to teach much interactively with your student this application is a uh, really really good to to be used uh, for that purpose okay and i believe you have a clear understanding about the butterfly life cycle with the help of this video okay so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and if you want to use this software then the link is in the description you can download the software or you can sign in and can use their web version as well you can use their android version as well as ios version of the app as well so that's all for today we'll see you next time thank you bye